Uh, so we, we've seen uh, Bitcoin, it peaked way back in November at 69,000, and it is now at 19,500. Uh, 19, um, uh, it is still higher than its pre-COVID seven to 10,000 range. And it is just about at its uh, uh, 2017 high. So this could be some support. It's also at, um, it's, it's, it is below its, uh, its 200 week moving average, uh, which is at 22,500. So there is some concern that that is the new resistance. Now, as we've seen the last month play out, talk about um, a reach for yield. Crypto personified that, DeFi personified that. Uh, when, uh, and, and we knew that uh, the Luna Terra experiment with algorithmic stable, stable coins was not going to work. It was backed by nothing. And uh, I remember we did a, a podcast with Do Kwan, it's still on our site. And I remember listening to it twice because I, I couldn't understand what he was doing or saying. I am an economist uh, by background. Uh, and, uh, and so uh, I really do try and noodle through these things. And I just didn't think that was gonna work. Uh, and it failed in spectacular fashion in, in May. Uh, and uh, and has taken Celsius down with it, uh, Voyager Digital, uh, Three Hour Arrows Capital, uh, BlockFi almost. It was very interesting uh, to see BlockFi's last funding round at three uh, billion dollars. This is a lending platform, and uh, tried to do another round recently at one billion dollars. Uh, he th couldn't get it done. And today it seems that uh, FTX um, is, going to, uh, is going to buy it out or it has the option to buy the equity for 240 million. A rumor this week had it at 25 million. So much better than that, but m much worse, less than a 10th of its last round. Uh, so, and it's not just happening in crypto. Uh, Klarna just announced, uh, I believe, that its last round was in the $45 billion range. This is a fintech company, and uh, it is doing around now at $6.5 billion. So big, big down rounds happening very quickly. Uh, we have, uh, uh, um, or we will put out today, uh, our Bitcoin Monthly. We started it last month, uh, and the title is contagion versus capitulation and as you know if you if you saw our last report we have a lot of on-chain analytics which give us a sense of um, of the capitulation in the marketplace and also a sense of what is going bad out there the transparency uh, in in the market uh, I think is the reason we've seen a lot of failures very quickly uh, we have, compared to the opacity in the traditional financial markets, uh, I think the um, shakeout in crypto has happened sooner and faster uh, than it would have in the traditional financial markets. Um, it's uh, interesting that BlockFi uh, uh, is, is going to FTX. We know that uh, two other platforms or companies Lenden, which is a or Led Led N, which is a um, a lending platform in Canada, highly regarded, uh, also seemed to be interested, as did I believe Morgan Creek. Now these these are people who really know what's going on in DeFi, and if they're willing to step in here, that has increased my confidence to some extent that uh, the systemic risk is diminishing here. Uh, with time, we're seeing that each meltdown seems to be a smaller one, not the opposite. Um, so that is giving us some confidence. The only reason I think uh, people are a bit on edge here is technicians who um, 
those who really don't follow the crypto markets at all. They, they're just technicians. They follow equities, bonds. They, they, don't, they don't care what these companies do or um, you know, what, what uh, kind of fixed income instrument it is. They just have their technicals. And um, just off the cuff, they, they will say, well, if it breaks from here, it could go to 11 to 13,000 from this 19.5. Uh, and the reason they say that, I, I can see this on the charts, is that's where there is a huge amount of support, where it peaked a lot of times uh, in a trading range. Um, that said, I will say that uh, I am feeling a lot better about what's going on in the crypto world right now. Um, you'll see our Bitcoin monthly. I would say, you know, we're neutral to positive. We're waiting for a few uh, a few more capitulation signals. Uh, and of course, time will tell on uh, the systemic side here. Um, and uh, we haven't heard of uh, another stress signal in, in the last few days. So, so that's good as, as well.